Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you so much for coming by for another No BS Social Media Chat. We talk all the time with people about social media. It's kind of what I do for a living. And it's funny when I'm just even reaching out to well, some people who I've never met before, people are reaching out to me for the first time, people are just trying to get a gauge on social media. I'll hear, not all the time, but I'll hear a lot, man, I just wish social media would go away. Do you think it's ever going to go away? I told them, if I knew what was going to happen, I'd be rich and you wouldn't be able to talk to me. Do I ever think social media is going to go away? No. I think we open up Pandora's box and it's here to stay in some shape, form, or fashion. You know, as, as I've watched my life evolve, everybody thought that television would kill radio, and that even predates me. And then everybody thought that when the internet came out, it would kill newspapers, and that, you know, video on the internet would kill people. And you know what? It's changed things. It's evolved things, but it's not dying. You know, a lot of people are cutting the cord on their cable box and they're watching video on the internet. But a lot of the times, the cable companies own the internet streams. So they're, they're, you're taking money out of the left pocket and putting it in the right pocket. People are going to make money however they've got to, so it's about evolving. Radio has had to evolve. When, when TV came in, radio went from running those serialized programs, you know, The Lone Ranger and, and Fibber McGee and Molly, into having disc jockeys and playing records and, and, and doing news and, and all those kinds. And, and so it evolved, and it continues to evolve over the course of 50, 60, 70 years. Television, likewise, when there were three TV networks, they pretty much had you. Now it's evolved because there's so many options. There's so many cable networks out there specializing in certain things, whether it's food, whether it's golf, whether it's football, whatever it is, everybody's had to adapt. Marketing, which is really what social media is all about, marketing on a one-on-one -on -one basis, is all about evolution. It ebbs and flows and changes and moves and, and what works best for some doesn't work for others. You know, When I worked in radio, a lot of times radio stations would either buy billboards, they would buy TV commercials, they'd even do newspaper ads, trying to get people to switch their radio station, hoping they would just come and naturally punch in, but a lot of times they wouldn't, so they'd go to where they thought was the right place to go. And I had some people I worked with who, who swore that the only way to get new people to your radio station was through TV advertising. And I'd have other people say, the only way to get them is right there in the car, and that's by putting up a billboard. Well, I worked for a lot of companies that didn't have the budgets for TV or for billboards. So we had to get out and beat the streets and do it the old-fashioned way, shaking hands, kissing babies, running contests, getting out meeting people, being seen, being visible, being part of the community. Not the easiest way to do it. You can't just throw money at that problem. You've got to throw people at that problem. But it worked for me many, many times over the years. Well, it's the same thing with social media. Some people will just try to throw, social media, uh, throw, throw money at their social media problems. Hey, you know what? I'll just throw money at Facebook. And you know what? It may help. But it's not a one-stop, one-fix shop. You can spend hundreds upon hundreds of dollars a week in Facebook advertising, and it may not get you the results as fast as you need it to. Do you wish social media would go away? I understand some people do. I'll be honest with you. When I, when I finally realized what social media had the potential to become over a decade ago, it changed my life. I went from a literally a lifelong radio career into a whole different field because I saw the future. I saw the, the possibilities. And I saw how it worked with radio. I saw how it worked with television and newspapers and the internet and all these things. And I just said, wow, this is exciting. This is fun. And this is unique. And what's funny is, is in the 10 plus years I've been doing social media, it continues to change and evolve. Will social media go away? I, I would never say never. But if I know the world we live in, as long as people can build a fan base, as long as people can manipulate you in some way, can market to you in some way, it's never going to go away. Now, will it necessarily be something for big brands, for the Coca-Colas, for the Pepsis, for the Chevrolets, for the Fords of the world? Who knows? You know, they're putting more money into it now than they ever have before because it's obviously working. But a lot of people are having a problem with, with the return on results, meaning you know, they put money into it and they want to see the results you know, tenfold or sevenfold or whatever the number is, and they're not necessarily seeing that easily because social media isn't working the same way that TV advertising or newspaper ads or billboards or whatever it was worked. They all had their own unique strategies. Even radio had a return on investment. You know, people expect automatically if I run run if I won if I run one radio commercial, I expect people to just walk in my door and buy lots of my products. And that doesn't work with radio. It, it's not the panacea they hope it is. Same thing with social media. We're still figuring out where it's going and what's happening. But if you're one of those people who wants it to go away, the only way you're going to make it go away is you go away yourself. And I mean, just stop using social media. No one's putting a gun to your head and saying you have to use social media. I think you're missing out. I'm amazed at some of the people who still don't use social media, whether it's a business, whether it's people, whether it's celebrities, whatever it is. I understand why, but I see what they're missing. And I think you do too. It can be frustrating. And on a bad day, if you want it to go away, that's okay. There are some days I just wish it would go away too when I'm having a bad day. But at the end of the day, it's changed my life and it's changed the way we market to people. And that's exciting. 
and it's interesting. Whether it's good or not, well, the historians will look back in 20, 30, 50 years and tell us. Back next week with another OBS no social media chat. NoBSSocial.com, the place you can find all these videos. Find us on Facebook, find us on YouTube. We post them up wherever you found us this week. Again, we'll have them there next week. If you want to find me personally, real simple. My phone number, my email, they're all coming up at the end of the video. Let's chat. Thanks. See you next week.